Hey, what's up, guys? This is Edo Speaks back again with another video. So, I was watching ESPN uh, get up earlier this morning, and one of the topics that they were having was about which is harder to win an NBA championship or an NFL Super Bowl. And the two people going back and forth, I think it was that bum ass guy, Kendrick Perkins, and one of the former uh, defensive players for the Green Bay Packers, or was it the Pittsburgh Steelers? It was one of those teams, but they were going back and forth as in terms of which one is harder, and it was a good debate as regards uh, to, in terms of that topic. But um, I wanted to like delve in deeper as regards to which is tougher, and go into details as which one is tougher as regards to the NFL or the NBA in terms of which one is harder to win. Uh, title from each uh, sport is obvious that the NFL uh, championship, the NFL Super Bowl, is harder to win. I'm not saying that the NBA uh, title is easy by no means, but it's also harder. It's harder, way, way, way harder to win an NFL Super Bowl in this day and age. Just in just all time like it's just way more harder and difficult to do it that's why people will praise tom brady for winning seven super bowl and revere him as a goat same thing they do with jordan but the reason they revere jordan as a goat is because he's undefeated he never choked he never had a bad game he never let nobody down in the, in the NFL, nba finals in terms of that it's tom brady has lost so it's impressive that he went to 10 Super Bowls, but the fact that he lost three and won seven, whilst it's impressive, it kind of dampers a little bit to it. But again, you, you, it's hard. again, it, just to make it to 10 Super Bowls in itself is difficult. So I give Tom Brady that, but winning a, winning an NFL Super Bowl is way more harder. But in regards to that, the reason I feel like it's way harder is because you have to deal with injuries throughout the whole season, 16 game schedule season. Now they added another game, another game to it. They added a extra playoff spot where the top seed gets a buy, and then the second seed has to basically play um, in the wild card and divisional round. So you, that's made it a little bit more tougher and then after that you literally have no control over who's playing who's not playing and you have to literally play as a unit everybody has to be hands on deck you have to control everything you don't have to control, control over your office alignment how they play you can't take over the game as a defensive player because you're if you're on offense you can't do nothing about it your defense has to like take you know control of that and play well if they don't play well it's gonna put more pressure on you to play well and there's just so much stuff that you don't have control over in the nfl to win multiple super bowls not just a super bowl win multiple super bowls as you can see from the past 10 years that you do see that other teams have won super bowls but they've only won one super bowl from the 2010s there have been no team to repeat in the super bowl and then it's starting again with this year as with the the Kansas City Chiefs they almost was they almost repeated but then they got blown out by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers so and then the last team to make it back to the Super Bowl was the Patriots and then they lost to the Philadelphia Eagles and then prior to that the the Seahawks they this close to repeating and then they lost the last team to repeat in the 2000s was the New England Patriots so just to get to the Super Bowl is a difficult path in itself so to repeat it's looking like it's not going to be there especially with the hard salary cap that's in the league right now to do that now when it comes to the NBA yeah winning the NBA title is hard because you basically have to win 16 games in the playoffs to win the NBA title but there's a little bit more room for error in the NBA playoffs to do that if you were to lose game one you be like okay i could make adjustments i could regroup game two and you know just keep trying to move forward you have basically virtually seven games to win your series so there's a little bit more room for error not i'm just i'm not saying like you know you're down three like zero three or something like that that you could still win but but just to show that the different the, the dichotomy in between the two sports in the NFL is any given Sunday. 
If you're not on your A game every Sunday, you're going to get beat. No matter if you're going against the best team in the NFL or the worst team in the NFL, your ass could get whooped any given Sunday. It doesn't matter. You have to bring it every single week. You have to prepare every single week. NBA, yeah, you have to prepare too, but to impose your will on a team four times to win a series, yes, that's tough. I admit that, but still, NFL... You could get upset in the playoffs. It happened multiple times where a wild card team beat a one seed team to make it to the Super Bowl. The the New York Giants has done it. Uh, the Green Bay Packers has done it. It happened multiple times where the top, like a top seed, gets knocked off by a wild card team, and that wild card team either makes it to the Super Bowl or possibly wins the Super Bowl. So. There's a stream small um, amount of error that could happen within the first few plays of an NFL game that could basically impact the whole game overall. You've seen it happen with the Denver Broncos in 20, I think 2013 when they got the first play of the game was a like a, a safety fumble by Pam Manning and that basically dictated the whole game throughout that. And then the Seahawks ended up blowing out the Denver Broncos that whole time. So, you know, small stuff like that impacts the game. It's like the NBA, you could make a small little mistake, but you could still recover. It's just if you make that small mistake in the fourth quarter, then, yeah, it's going to impact the game overall. But, you know, again, you have four to seven games to impose your will on another basketball team to win a series. In the NFL, you have one game and one game only. When you go to the playoffs, you're basically one and done throughout the whole playoffs. If you don't play throughout the whole playoffs with the one and done type mentality, you're going to go home early. So is you have to win that game or you're going home straight up like that. It's not even simple. I don't get why this is really a t- uh, topic. I understand it's good for ratings and stuff like that, but it's clearly obvious that the NFL is just like way more tougher. You have to deal with injuries. You have to deal with play- players that you have no control over. You could dominate a basketball game on a one on five. There's literally 11 people on the team and you can't control everything that happened, especially if you're a quarterback. You can't control it happening, or you're an offensive lineman. You don't have, you have no control if a wide receiver catches a pass, or you have no control of a running back if he fumbles a ball or an interception. And then uh, to your, your your teammates on defense, you have no control of what they do, so you just hope that they play good. There's just so much variables in place that you have no control over, and then you have to deal with injuries on top of that. So it just makes the NFL Super Bowl way more harder. So, yeah, I do play some beer emphasis on an NFL Super Bowl that I do an NBA title. But that's just my personal opinion on the matter. But, you know, that, that's just, you know, I heard, I seen some people comment that an NBA title is way more harder. I personally disagree, but, you know, that's their title to opinion, just like I'm entitled to mine. But I do don't want to know your guys in the time. I do, I do want to know what your opinion is. Is an NBA title way more harder or is an NFL Super Bowl way more harder? Let me know in the comment section down below. This is Edo Speaks out.